It is 8:17, Bryant. President Bush has said that whipping terrorism is the new focus of his administration. He's vowed to devote all of our country's resources to retaliation. Philip Zelikow is a terrorism expert at the University of Virginia. Professor, welcome back. Well, um, we're, we're hearing a lot of stepped-up rhetoric. You heard Senator Torricelli talking about let's declare war on everybody who's been involved. Um, in a logistical sense, in a practical sense, in a military sense, are we getting way ahead of ourselves here? We may not getting a, be getting ahead of ourselves, Bryant, but the American people need to understand the implications of the objectives that the nation's leaders are describing. Uh, the nation's leaders are preparing us for a war in an area of fantastic difficulty for military operations. They're describing ending governments that support terrorism. That means, could mean literally, ending the current government of Afghanistan. Which then you have to set up another government, you have to find something to replace it. That's right. And Americans, if they pull out our, their maps and find Afghanistan, they will find that we have no adjacent countries that are allied to us. We have no bases in any adjacent countries from which to operate. Uh, we could hardly pick a country in the entire world in which it would be more difficult for us to launch and mount and sustain the campaign people are talking about. Pakistan on one side, Iran on the other, and obviously neither one and is going to be receptive. former Soviet republics to the north. So, so none of those very receptive to the deployment of, of U.S. forces. Pakistan may grant us overflight for airstrikes, and that's one thing, and that may be very important. It may be very important very soon. But Pakistan is a staging area for large ground operations where we set up large bases in that region of Pakistan over a period of time would have profound effects on Pakistan's own government and its ability to maintain power if it tried to allow Americans to set up large-scale bases in their country that way. Um, I'm not criticizing the administration's objectives, but I think it's important that the American people understand that this is not a problem that's going to be solved in the next few days with a bunch of airstrikes, and then we declare victory and we're done. So airstrikes, either by cruise missile or manned aircraft, those are not reasonable alternatives? They will not be sufficient. In 1998, after the embassy bombings, we fired 70 cruise missiles at terrorist training camps in Afghanistan. And we, th those blew up some buildings, and they killed a few terrorists in training. They did nothing to bin Laden's network. And the Amer administration told the American people it was done, but that was a symbolic retaliation that did nothing to prevent what happened here. That kind of retaliation, that kind of strike, will not satisfy the president's objectives. The president has committed the country to far more than that. And the American people need to understand that this is going to take a long time and, and require military operations of a kind and variety that they can scarcely imagine right now. Define long time. Uh, at least weeks, and uh, depending on the attitudes of local governments, possibly months of sustained preparation for large-scale ground operations in at least one area and possibly more of the Middle East. And if that's what it comes to, should the American public at this point understand that if that's the objective, it is going to entail um, American casualties oh, of a considerable uh, nature? It will entail American casualties. If the country has to invade Afghanistan to overthrow that regime, and Afghanistan has been invaded before, and that's a difficult military problem, and there may well be casualties. The good news is that Afghanistan doesn't have the kind of army that Saddam right. Hussein deployed. Um, it's, but it's a very hard problem. The pre when the president commits us to a sustained campaign, people need to hear what he's saying and understand what he's asking them to be ready to do. Okay. Professor Zelikov, thank you. We'll thank you. Again. Jane?